If you're dealing with a lot of data in Django in your applications, a lot of user input, you might want to consider using different markup languages. So conveniently, Django comes with Django Contrib Markup in order to do that. It comes with Textile, Markdown, and Restructured Text. The one that I use the most is Markdown, and fortunately it is fairly simple to use. You just add Django.Contrib.Markup to your installed apps, you put Load Markup at the top, and then you can just run a filter in your template. Uh, so let's actually go ahead and do that in our example application. What you want to do is to make sure you have your dependencies installed. If you're doing textile, you're going to want to do a pip install textile. If you're doing restructured text, you want to make sure you have docutils. And if you're doing markdown, you want to make sure you have markdown. I already have these installed, so we're not going to worry about it. The first thing to do is add django.contrib.markup to our settings. And that was simple enough. The next thing to do is edit our template. But first, let's actually see what we're going to do. I've gone ahead and created a model and I've named it data and I have markdown textile and restructured text and have already done some dummy data inside of the database that we're going to display out. For the view I'm actually using a generic class based view that is built into Django. This is a really simple line. I'm using the, the list view generic view, which allows us to take a model and display stuff that is in our database using that model. I'm using the data model I just showed you, and I'm using the template home index. Just This is just very basic. So let's go ahead, now that we're aware of that, and edit our template. So this is fairly simple to do. The first thing we do is our load markup. The next thing we want to do is we want to actually iterate through all of our objects and display our data out. So we're going to do a for data in object list and that's going to go through and get all of our data. I'm going to be sure to end our for loop. For example purposes, I am going to go ahead and just output the data that is in the database and then below that I'll display the data using the filter. And then next is our data with the filter. Next we want to use our textile. And textile with our filter. And then finally our restructured text. and then using it with our filter. And that's it. We should be ready to go ahead and view our application and see how it worked. So let's jump in and do that. Okay, do a refresh. And here we go, we have our markdown well, since we're using a pre, everything was shifted over, but don't worry about that. And here's our markdown, here's our text style, and then here's our restructured text. This is the original. And then here's the transformation. So it is the italics, the bold, embedded little snippet and a link. 
And then over here for Markdown, I just did H1s and same thing for Textile. I did. And then here's some more examples. I wanted to do a block quote. So here you just have the greater than sign and anything after that gets transformed into a block quote. Same thing, you have a BQ period and it turns it into a block quote. And then over here with the structure task, anything that is tabbed over gets turned into a block quote as well. So there we go. We're using our markup to mark up our text and make things a little easier so that we don't have to do everything in raw HTML. And that'll save heartache with our users. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of the Gojango screencast. Please join us next week and don't forget to visit our website at gojango.com and subscribe to the RSS feed. We have some great content coming up so definitely subscribe. Also visit Facebook and look for announcements there and be sure to like us and participate in any discussions that we have there. I want to thank you again for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful and have a great day.